for this, you can see what's happening here is just like what we saw pictorially. If I'm saying, well, if this orange uh, is everything up to 80, everything over that point is going to be the blue. And everything under the curve, blue and orange, represents 100%. So if I'm using a formula, I can use the same formula and just say it's going to be 1 or 100% minus. Well, first I'll just say this is going to be equal to the same thing. I'm going to just do the same thing here. And I'm going to say then that this is going to be equal to 1, uh, 1 or 100%, right, minus, and then add my norm.dist, norm.dist. So there it is. I'm going to select tab to pick it up. This is going to be running much the same way. I'm going to be picking up my X, which is going to be the 80. Now, notice it's a little bit tricky because this is equal to. So the 80 has already been picked up here. So if I'm trying to do the inverse, I'm going to say that this, I can't say it's going to be uh, greater than or equal to. So I'm going to say minus, and then I'll pick like a really low number. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to say plus. 0. 0.000001, right? So now it's not exactly equal to here. And then I'm going to say uh, comma, and then the mean is going to be the 74 again, and then comma, and the standard deviation is the 10 as before, and then comma, is it cumulative? We're going to say it will be cumulative. So that's going to be a one, and then brackets, percentify it, home tab, number group, percentify, add some decimals, and we get to that uh, 70, uh, 30, 74 again. So if they ask me a question such as, what's the likelihood that it's going to be greater than uh, 80, then I can still populate the information up here, and now the orange is representing everything less than or equal to, and the blue is in essence representing thing, everything over and above that amount. So that's a, a little bit kind of tricky to use this graph. We could, of course, make different uh, different graphs as well, and, but sometimes it might be easier to use the same graph. So we'll take a look at some different variations to make this graph on the right to deal with these different questions of less than or equal to or greater than, and then, of course, between uh, would be uh, the next question that would often come up. Now notice if I go up to my formula up top, so this is now, uh, I didn't make this a dynamic formula. So if I go into this now, I can make this dynamic. Let's go into here and say this is going to be equal to, I'm going to put the quotes around the text area. So this is going to be from here to here. I'm going to end the quotes and then I'm going to say and. So now I'm going to say and to tie it together. And then I'm going to replace this 80 with uh, uh, this actual number up top, or that G10. And then and to tie it together to this last piece of text, bracket, or <laughs> quotes and quotes. All right, so I'm going to say enter. And so now we have a dynamic field. So if I made this go down to, uh, down to 60, for example, now you have... Uh, the 60 over here and you can see it reflected in the graph and you can see it change in our dynamic field. So let's bring it back up to 80. And then I'm also going to say this, uh, let's say this equals, equals this one. And then I'm also going to tie it together. So I'm going to say and, and then I want to tie it together with this one. So now, and let's see if I can wrap that home tab alignment wrapping the text. So now this, this column is kind of representing those two things, which can help me to basically visualize either of those questions with the orange uh, and the blue is the general idea. And I can even adjust my legend over here if I wanted to by going to the, uh, the chart group. I can go into my data and I can say that this one right here, the P of X, let's go ahead and uh, edit it. And then in the name up top, I'm going to change the name to be like, uh, this was the blue one. I'm going to say this is going to P, P is greater than or equal to 80. Hopefully I get this right and I don't. And then this one, I do get it backwards. And it's going to be edit. And I'll change the name here and say this is going to be the P is less than 
or equal to 80 and then okay and okay so now i'm going to go back on over and now we have the legend of the blue is the amount above the 80 and so so now we can kind of ask both of those questions when you have and you can kind of play with it pictorially okay so then uh, of course you might also get a question of uh something being between let's do the z score first though so i can do the z in the same way let's just calculate it again so we get a, an idea of the z again so this is going to be equal to i'm picking up the number we want uh, i'm going to say is x is 80 minus the the middle point closing up the brackets divided by the standard devi deviation divided by right here i saw the divided by and then standard deviation so there's our formula i'm going to say enter add some decimals home tab number group decimalizing it so there's our 0.5 once again and then again i can do this i can do this uh, same calculation but now with the z uh, score so this is going to be equal to norm dot s dot dist and then enter and so now all i need is the z because the z you'll recall just as we saw is taking into consideration the mean and the standard deviation in that calculation so i just need the z now comma it needs to be cumulative and notice i didn't put the one minus so it's going to be wrong but let me just show you i'm going to say this is going to be true close it up and so if i percentify that i could say oh wait a sec if i put those together that adds up to 100 this is the inverse i got to this i need to say one minus so i'm going to double click on it and say this is going to be one minus 100 percent minus that and then i get that same number now the next question that we get is is you can say that this is going to be p and let's say let's say that that the lower the lower is now going to be uh uh, uh let's say 75 and the upper is going to be what we had up here, which is just going to be the 80. So now I'm going to say between the lower and the upper is what we want. So we might put that in here by saying P is going to be, and you could represent it this way, like 75 is less than or equal to uh, the, the X, which is, which is less than or equal to the 80. I kind of like doing this. I don't, I know this may not be that I, I tend to think of it as X is going to be, uh, is going to be less than, less than or equal 